Now we're going to talk about what uh, George did after he graduated from college in 1943. Well, while I was going to college every summer between semesters, uh, I would get a summer job as a counselor at the camp, Franklin camp. And I did that for, well, the first year I worked at the, I looked for a summer job and and went to the library. Miss Morgan, personnel director, hired me for the summer because I knew her. So the next summer, Mr. Beatty, when he heard that I was going to apply for a job at the library again, he offered me a job, a summer job with the Franklin Selman camp as a counselor. And I did that for the remaining three summers while I was going to college. And then each, my last semester, my last term or at, as counselor at the, at the camp my senior year and I just graduated Mr. Beatty offered me a job to, as a boys worker at the settlement so after I, that fall I started my job at the settlement you'd been offered a, a teaching position also yeah well I was offered a teaching job at the thumb area and uh, before I decided to accept it, Mr. Beatty offered me the job as a boys worker in Detroit. So that's when I started my career at Franklin Sullivan. And I've been very familiar with their programs because during the years I've always been involved with them and had a, a great life with as a boys worker. And in fact, when after my, when my senior well, last, last year, when I, uh, they wanted me to take a full-time job with the settlement, but I, in the meanwhile, got married to Betty, and she had another year to go to school, so I quit my settlement job and got a job in Ypsilanti while Betty was a senior. All right, so let's let's backtrack just a little bit and talk about when you met Betty. Now one night, Bill News, the fraternity brother, and Des Boyce, and another fraternity brother, it was a Saturday night, nothing to do, no activities, no dances, no parties. So we started off and from the fraternity house and stopped at the campus drug. And lo and behold, there's Betty with her girlfriend. Their girlfriend was working at the bomber plant. They were just in a night out. And we talked with them, I met Betty, and I got interested because I, I, I was a senior my senior year, my last semester, and uh, got her name and uh, called her up, and, and the dance come in, I wanted to know if, uh, wondering if I should ask Betty, but could she dance? So finally we went to a beer garden where they had music, and uh, she had a Coke and I had a beer, and we danced, and by golly, she was a dancer, a good dancer. So then that, that started the whole chain of action. And then um, Betty graduated in 1945, but before that, um, you had proposed. Where did Betty live when uh, when uh, she was going to college? Well, she lived, her folks that lived in Ypsilanti, she lived at home. And then the last semester when I met her, she moved into a girls' dormitory on campus. And, uh, but I was dating, the, dating her when she was still living at home, but I had to hitchhike to her house and, and hitchhike back unless her father gave a letter to use a card to you take me, take me back to the campus. And when did you propose to her? Well, uh, I proposed to her on, on my birthday. I forget how old I was. Nine, uh, In 1943. 43. 
I've been, what, 17 or 27? No, it's... Uh, it's as you graduated from, uh, from college. 43. And she still had another year or so to go. And what? She had another year or so to go in college. Oh, yeah, okay, so... So we I started dealing with her, she's still on campus, and, and I was working at the Central Specialty in Ypsilanti. And then uh, when she graduated, uh, well, when I, I was living on a, on a fraternity house when we were going to study. But I, had, I was working at the Central Specialty Company. And what were you doing at Central Specialty? I was an accountant. And uh, I had a great opportunity. When it was a, 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 Central Specialty was a large company in Ypsilanti. And I was in accounting, and I was a, an accounting major. And they were trying to set up an accounting cost department. So I was offered, well, after working there for a few years, they offered me a job as to start the cost department. The school offered me a, I forget what they offered me, and, and then, oh, well, I'll well, go well, a little bit, and then it was, Back when I started, when I was working at the Central Specialty, I met Jack Granger, who lived in Ypsilanti, and he had the president of the Calhoun Foundry. Which and was he, founded, when was Calhoun found, uh, Foundry founded? I, have, um, I think in 1939 or 43, I'm not sure. It was just newly started, and Jack Granger, the president, was commuting he lived in Ypsilanti community from, from Homer weekends. And then he was, then I was, well, I was married to Betty at that time. And we were, she was going to school and I wanted her to finish school and get a degree. And I continued working at such especially. And then Jack, who lived in Homer, Ypsilanti rather, would bring his books home from, he didn't have anybody in the office in Homer, and I would work on his books in, in, in Ypsilanti, book, and then he'd take them back to Homer on Mondays. So I started doing their books early in their career or my career as an account. Okay, and then when Betty did graduate in 1945, where did she go to work? Well, we were living in Toledo well, 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 before we got this would have been after you got married. Yeah. And then she graduated in 45, and we moved to Toledo. And I was starting to do the books at Kellum Foundry in 45 or 44. So when I was in Toledo, I would commute to Homer. We could, because we couldn't get enough and uh, any room because uh, no, no room in, rooms were available, so I moved in with with Joe Work and Margaret Work, who were related to the Work family, and roomed with them while I was working to, uh, at Calif started to work at Calif Foundry. And weekends I would uh, I would go back to Toledo because that's where we were, Betty was, and we couldn't find a place so. We go back, so I commuted from Homer to Toledo my early years. In fact, I'd, I'd would leave Kellen Foundry at five o'clock and ride at one of the truck drivers to Adrian, and from Adrian I would hitchhike to Toledo. Then over the weekend, I'd live in Toledo, then I would take a bus from Toledo to Ypsilanti, and then to Homer on weekends. So, so every Friday night I'd ride a truck to Adrian, and from Adrian I'd ride go to Toledo, and on, on uh, Mondays I'd take the bus from 
Toledo to Ann Arbor and Ann Arbor to Homer on Mondays. So I did that for a couple of years. So this is, that was the beginning of your, uh, your life in uh, Homer yeah, as you and gradually that, moved. Uh, we couldn't, there was nothing available to, or any place to live. And finally, after I forget how many years, a couple of years, this apartment at the funeral home developed. So we got it at that and we were able to move and live in Homer at that time. This would be 45, middle, middle of 45. And we moved into Bain's uh, apartment, the funeral home. And we lived there until, well, we bought our land and we still live at the, at the apartment. Then, we'll, then. we'll get into that. That'll be another story. So in 1945, when you and Betty moved into the uh, funeral home, then uh, her parents were still living down in Toledo, and uh, you pretty much gave up your ties to Toledo and to Ypsilanti, and uh, pretty much zeroed in on Homer. Yeah. When... Uh We were married and living in Toledo. I would take a bus to get to Homer every every Monday morning, but on Friday nights, uh, when I left the foundry to go to Toledo, I would drive the truck to. To Adrian and from Adrian and hitchhike to Toledo. I did that religiously for about almost a year and a half. And then on Mondays I would always go take a bus to Ann Arbor, from Ann Arbor to Albion, and somebody would pick me up at Albion. And we had an apartment. We didn't have an apartment, we just moved in. I moved in with Jack Granger. And Betty was still in Toledo at that time. And what was Betty doing in Toledo after she graduated? She worked at the Toledo University in the office. And, and while, we, while we were in Toledo, I took some night classes in, in taxes at the University of Toledo. Night. Very good. Well, let's wrap up this uh, story right now. <laughs>